Now the first of 12 large dogs, Martin Reed and Snooze, seven-year-old Border Collie, made agility champion last year. First of the 12 large dogs. Martin the Handler, you know well. Yes, absolutely. He is very successful, and he's su su successful with a multiple dogs and breeds. And unfortunately, getting an early elimination there. But interestingly, he does have another dog in this competition. So if I was Martin now, I would carry on running this dog just to get a feel of the course and see if there's any parts that he would like to change with his next dog. Keep him going, Graham, and as they always do, they will want to complete the course in some style. They will, but Ashley made a really, really good point. He'll want to get round this course, get a really good feel for it, so that when he runs it again, he can say, I've done this, I know what I'm doing, but uh, Martin, uh, a very, very nice guy and a great dog and handler. <laughs> this is Havoc, Lindsay Lightowler, second dog in the large championships, five-year-old Border Collie, and an early, early five faults as well for Havoc and for Lindsay. Yeah, that was just a shame there, clipping that number two long jump. I do think it was because Havoc was very pushy in that weight there, and maybe there was just a loss of concentration between dog and handler. I do think this is Lindsay's first time in the main arena, so nerves could play a part as well. So hard, isn't it, to get your dog in the right frame of mind, the right mood? Yeah, absolutely. They can feel the buzz, the atmosphere and the excitement in here, and it's actually trying to control their excitement. And there we are, just clipping the end of that uh, soft dog walk. You're watching the large championships. This is Vespa, Helen anderson Postle from Norwich. Bit like controlling a runaway train, uh, says Helen. And let's hope the train travels on time and goes the right way. Vespa, six years of age, Belgian shepherd dog, a Malinois. Yeah, again, really, really nice and exciting to see a different breed in there. Oh, just clinging on to Vespa. I know that this partnership have been working as hard as they can to get these results. Look at that independency in those weaves. That is just incredible. What a wonderful sight that is. Tremendous work and clean and very quick as well. And looking good for a flying finish. Well, brilliant. Helen, Anderson, Possel and Vespa, number one at the moment. 36-519, uh, a clear round, very long striding docker. Great to see just a different breed doing it and doing it so well. Sita, five-year-old border collie, second dog uh, for Ola Cordes to qualify for Crufts. Second time for her on the green carpet as well. Yes, and she has just recently got engaged to Lee Gibson. Oh, right. Who won the intermediate. Oh, so imagine if she could want. win. That's what we want up here, Graham, isn't it? A little bit of proper gossip. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, Jim. <laughs> And again, unfortunately, I just think going that on that right wing of that irons jump after the seesaw, you really do have to push the dogs around it. The thing is, the wing is so thick and the dogs just aren't used to it. They, they don't see those type of wings at normal shows. Might get Graham on that after this round. That's an interesting point. But uh, an elimination for Ola and uh, for Sita. Uh, but great style through the weaves and completing the round over the good boy and finally will head towards the final Skoda jump as well. Ola Cordas and Sita. So just picking up on Ashley's point here, the quickest way round that jump is to the right, but you do need to be pushing the dog that way to get it to go around uh, and unfortunately picking up the fault there. Ready to go. Shape Martin Reed's second dog, last year's winner. And uh, Martin, we've already seen running with Snooze, knows his way around, won the jumping this morning. Yes, and Shape just touched the back of that long jump there, but it didn't fall down, so that is no fault there. He worked that IAMS jump very hard after getting eliminated with his last dog. 
pushing round, slicing that jump into that tyre. This is shaping into a beautiful run. Love it, shaping up well. Good work over, over the dog walk too. But it's a terrific round. On you go, Graham. Well, everybody on the commentary deck here just went, oh, as he did it, because it was shaping up to be an absolutely fantastic round. Those poles are made of plastic. They're meant to come down very, very easily, and you can see it did. Here's Legacy, and David Munnings can be a bit nervous, a young dog, but did very well in the agility. She did second best in the agility. And let's see what you could do in this grand final. Just about got round that tricky Iams jump. That was nervous, Graham. It was. That was a bit of a what-only moment, but uh, he's had a pole down, unfortunately, as well. So he's running on five blocks at the moment, so he won't be taking the championship, not this year. Yeah, I think that slight hesitation they had on the jump before the A-frame could have possibly have just knocked Dave's timing out, and that's why that pole came down. There's the five faults, 34.5 the time, and crucial, that's a crucial five faults, and it almost stayed up as well. Here we go, ticket, Alan Bray, been in fine form of the last few, de few days, the old commander, six-year-old border collie. Look at that, that's a nice distinctive little right paw in the air, ready to go over the U move, right in front of our commentary position, rattling through the tunnel. Nice work over the seesaw. That I am conquered, no problem. A frame, good too. Good work from Alan and from Ticket. Alan Bray never seems to hurry. How about those words? Look at that! Through the wheeze, brilliant. This is an exemplary round thus far. Good contact. A tight twister through the tunnel. Great work from Alan. Great work. Great work. Just the ticket. Brilliant. 34.6. Number one uncomfortably, Graham. Wow, that was an incredible run there by Alan. And like you said, Jim, he never looks like he's in a hurry, but that was just an economical run. Here's Nara Cuddy and Lemon getting to the sharp part of the competition. These two runners up last year. Second to Dalton Meredith in the singles on Friday. Silver in the team in the European Open and third in the jumping. Nara Cuddy and Lemon. Yeah, now Alan has put that speedy time in. They are going to be pushing. Absolutely no option. 34 seconds. Slicing two seconds of what had gone before him. But Lemon certainly has the speed, has Lemon, and Nara got the accuracy. Good contact, end of that uh, dog walk. It's right up there, 30 seconds, it's right up there, right up there, 34.3, place 34.6, Nara and Lemon squeezing into first place. Yep, she's done it, I mean, not only was she quick, but I think she'd made a conscious decision that she was going to just keep it as tight as she possibly could, and it paid dividends. Look at that. First place, 34-3-5-1. Well done, Nara. This is Falcon, five-year-old working sheepdog. The handler is Mike Bendel from Bristol. Second time at Crufts. Don't worry about the lack of hair, by the way. It's due to a colour dilute alopecia. It doesn't affect his health. He just hasn't got a lot of hair, as Falcon but he's a very, very handy dog around the agility course. Yeah, Mike is a lovely guy, one of the nicest guys in agility. Oh, and I was just about to say, I would love nothing more for him to win this, but unfortunately, picking up five faults there with that pole just dropping. <laughs> you heard a little sound effect there, by the way, that was Ashley's fish crashing <laughs> down onto the commentator's table. Don't worry about it. We feel your pain. Fine run, though, just the five faults for Mike Bendel and for Falcon. You're not having a lot of luck today, oh, Ashley. I'm I think they're, they're going to be paying you to, to say <laughs> nothing, I think, so, so. What a great run and very, very unlucky time there. But look at him. He's got a smile on his face, enjoying himself. Clyde, seven-year-old border collie. Bonnie Quick, the handler. Absolute softy around the house, this one. But described as a lion in the ring and looking to roar past that uh, 34 seconds that it will require 
to win this title. They've worked out that IAMS jump now, it would appear. Yeah, it definitely does help to run later on in the competition. So you can see where all the mistakes are happening and you can make sure that you are not one of those people making them. Very few have gone quicker through the weaves than Clyde or indeed over the dog walk. Excellent twisting turn. Goodness me, this is shaping up to be very close as well. 33, but just picking up the faults. Five faults, a bit of hesitation, a bit of time lost, eh, Graham? Yeah, it just... During the round, it was just starting to get away from her. The turns becoming just that bit wider, uh, and in the end, it just was the undoing, unfortunately. But uh, still, well done to uh, well done to her. Penultimate large dog, crazy eight-year-old Ewan Patterson, great performer, Scottish representative, entertaining and talented duo. This and they could do this if it all goes according to plan. Yeah, Ewan and Crazy, definitely one of the favourites. He knows he has to push, though. <laughs> There's no time for hanging around and no time for any faults. That is the beauty of this sport when it gets to this stage of the competition. It's just down a fraction. He knows he's going to have to push now. You'll see him leave the dog. Come on, he's going. He wants to drag every amount of speed he can out of that dog. Oh, 35-3-8-1. Had to find another second. Uh, did Ewan and Crazy, but really flew through those weaves. The last large dog, Eclipse, Dalton Meredith, the handler. Could well have been the favourite before this competition started. Second in the jumping, winner in the agility. They will have to be faultless and very quick to get inside 34.3. Yes, Dalton missed a call in agility. All he has to do is keep it together because he knows he has the speed there. He has the speed. Hope they have the accuracy. Wonderful style going through that tyre. Really quick through the weaves. 21, they're right up with it at the moment. They cannot hang about. Tight right-hander through the tunnel again. Keep an eye on that clock. Keep watching it. 30, 31, 32, 33, 33.9. They had it. They had the speed. They had the confidence. They had the ability. Dalton Meredith and Eclipse, as indeed you predicted. Thank you. I got it right today. Uh, yes. <laughs> um, what a... This partnership are just incredible, and at the moment, they're completely unstoppable when they get it right. Yeah, you would not want him running last, would you? Move. The lovely Janet Hughes from Agria, and also eight times champion here at Crofts, the incredible, incomparable Mary Ray. And uh, yeah, Mary, you, that is very, very well deserved. Superstar of the best in show night for so many years. And uh, before we start our presentation ceremony, this man has designed some of the most amazing courses this week. He's a true, true agility man. We heard from him earlier. Let us say thank you, Martin, and uh, congratulations to Martin Cavill, our judge for the championships. At the back of the uh, big ring here at Crofts, there are a team down there that get here at quarter to seven every single day. They arrived on Wednesday. They never stop smiling. They never stop working. They are the very, very, very best in the world. Thank you to our incredible ring party and all the team that make the big ring such a success. They're the best in the world. And uh, should we give them a cheer? <laughs> Tremendous agility, and now John, our championship. Your Crofts Agility Champion 2024 in the intermediate height with Eurostar Lee Gibson. <laughs> Just a little bit, it's going back a few years, thank you so much. Thank and 
Hackett taking the intermediate reserve ticket with agility champion Darley Falls cryptic enigma Marita Ogilvy. And your cross agility champion 2024 in the large height with agility champion Fan Davidozzi, Eclipse of Dust, Dalton Meredith. <laughs> and taking the reserve ticket in the large height with agility champion Little Haze Dark Pleasure, Nara Kuddy. Please keep the applause going. Please show them lots of love, ladies and gentlemen. It's lap of honor time.